Hey guys, and welcome to this edition of Talk Nerdy to Me. Tonight we are talking smartphones, specifically the LG in Act. Hello, keyboard. So, Michael, talk nerdy to me. Well, as Mallory just said, this is one of the only smartphones on the market with a full slide out QWERTY keyboard. Meaning that uh, if you are not proficient in on screen typing, the on screen keyboard, this is one of your options out there. Now, that being said, it is running Android 4.0. Um, you know, it does have front camera, rear camera, built in Bluetooth, 4G compatible, and it's a, it's a fairly average phone, to be perfectly honest. Um, the interface. Nothing spectacular. In fact, LG has their own way of customizing the Android interface just like any other manufacturer does. However, it, it tends to be a little bit laggy, you know, whether that's the interface itself or the processing capability. It's hard to tell. I mean, did you see anything with the lag on the phone? The, the most noticeable lag was uh, when I would open up Instagram. Instagram lagged it the most. I had Facebook, not a big deal. With email, eh. Well, and that's so, another so. thing. The camera on this, the 5 megapixel camera, is really outdated now by today's standards. When you're seeing, you know, 10, 12 megapixel cameras being built into a phone, it's really, it's really behind in that aspect of technology. And if you click on the link in the description, I have a comparison because it does it does good in outside prime lighting for photography, but as soon as you bring it inside under the CFLs or anything incandescent, it's a, it's an awful picture. Yeah, I mean it's not it, it's not a bad phone, but there's really nothing to stand out against the other phones in the market. I mean you got so many Android phones out there nowadays. The only reason you would want this phone is because you need that full keyboard on it as opposed to a touch screen. Um, now the battery life it is decent. It's definitely better than some of the other smartphones out there. However, with competitors like the Droid Max and even the Samsung Galaxy S4, it blows out of the water. Um, those do. Um, with this phone, it's just it's not going to hold up. It's a little chunky. It's thick because of the keyboard, and I carry a wristlet. So it's not a good phone for a girl, you know, we like to carry cute little things. But other than that, I mean, as I said, you know, it's got all the basic features on it. Um, the speaker... For, Awful. Yeah. I, well, I just got done reviewing the Moto X, and the Moto X, the sound system was fabulous because it had multiple speakers in it. This one is very one-directional, so it's... It's just not, not that good, no, not at all. If you're a beginner and looking to get in the smartphone arena, this may be the way to go. However, it was up to me. I go with the Droid 4 by Motorola just because it's about the same size, same QWERTY keyboard, but better performance for less money. Um, versus this one, it's just, it's bloated, to be perfectly honest, it's bloated both in size and in the OS, so... I'm sorry, what was that? If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tech videos, leave us a comment below. Maybe you have a suggestion. Maybe we can get our hands on that. And be sure to subscribe for more videos from the talk nerdy to me couple. Check you later, guys.